John Wee. He comes from Punk Cooley, from a very musical family, and he is going to be sharing some original music with us to start the show and to end the show. Here is John Wee. Oh, 
you, John. That was wonderful. Thank you very much. Very, very well done. Our next segment, next, uh, the, the next act that we have in for you is a, a rather unique piece. It, it features uh, a Manitou fellow by the name of Tyler Johnson, uh, directed and uh, filmed by Haley Hunter, with assistance from April Talbot. Please enjoy Triangulation of Love. just see. That's a triangulation of love. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that was like extremely talented slash slightly twisted. It's going to keep me thinking about it for the rest of the weekend. That was really Charlie Chaplin on absinthe? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like how, I like how they took that, mo that single person character to play multiple characters. Which is fairly modern, but well, then did the talky bit. That's just really kind of cool. Yeah. I loved it. Loved it. And Love. it can be safely said that Tyler is a man of many hats. <laughs> many hats indeed, Chuck. Well, some of you have been enjoying the great winter weather we've been experiencing, whether it be skiing, skating, or taking in some ice fishing. Our next artist has been out singing. Well, let's enjoy Keely Shepard's song, Rise Up, by Audra Day. 
broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round and you can't find the but I see it in you So we go walking out And move Mountains We can walk it out And move Mountains and I'll rise up, I'll rise to the day, I'll rise up, I'll rise and afraid, I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. And I'll rise up, I like the waves, I'll rise up, in spite of the When the silence isn't quiet And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we'll take the world to its feet Bring it to its feet Move Mountains And I'll rise up Rise to the day I'll rise up In spite of the heck i rise up And we'll do it times again for you And for that we have each other And for that we have each other And we will rise We will rise We will rise oh, 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 oh. We'll rise up, rise to the day, we'll rise up, in spite of the ache, I will rise a thousand times again, and we'll rise up, high like the waves, we'll rise up, in spite of the Do it a thousand times again for you. Thanks, Kate.
Keely. That was wonderful. And as you said, Robin, great weather. And uh, for somebody to go out and do that outside in January <laughs> in Manitoba, unspeakable. So, and a great job as well. Wonderful voice on that girl. Check that. Our, next, yes. our next Check. artist. Sorry, what were you saying, Robin? Chuck, I've noticed you've got a little extra snow on the roof. Anyone going to be brushing that off anytime soon? I hope so. I hope so. I left it on for this video just so I could do the Earl Cannon Bear bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my girlfriend is saying I got a little Grandpa Munster going on here, so it's time for it to come off. <laughs> our next, our next uh, performance is uh, someone that I hadn't seen before I actually viewed the video. It's fantastic. This is Liam Hamilton from Notre Dame, and he is doing a wonderful job um, spotting, if you will, the Masterpiece Theatre by calling his segment the Theatre of Masterpiece. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the Theatre of Masterpieces. I am your host, Duke Hamilton III. Tonight we have a very special treat. This world seems so terribly dark and lonely. We will attempt, I use that word strongly, to bring you some childhood whimsy. The ray of sunshine that will make you roll your eyes that entertainment that makes you groan. The wonderful, timeless words known as fat jokes. Let us begin. If you want to hear a joke about construction, you can't. I'm still working on it. To be frank, I'll have to change my name. What's blue and not very heavy? Light blue. What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. I was really angry at my mo friend Mark this one time. He stole my dictionary, and you know what I said? Mark my words! You want to know what the last thing my grandfather said to me before he kicked the bucket? Grandson, look how far he kicked this bucket! What time did I go to the dentist? Tooth Purty. I'm reading a book about anti gravity. I can't put it down. Spring is here. I was so excited, I wet my plants. Sadly, that's all the time we have for today. It's been me, Duke Hamilton III. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until next time. Goodbye. Liam Hamilton's Theatre of Masterpiece would have been a great segment. In SCTV, going along with your SCTV references tonight, Chuck, I could see that fitting in very nicely. <laughs> what a crazy kid. What? <laughs> I saw you laughing at some of those jokes, Chuck. I laughed at all of them. You can't <laughs> help but laugh. They're, they are dad jokes. <laughs> Full on dad jokes. And now it's time for a word from our sponsors. Need a new vehicle, but maybe feeling a bit of a crunch in your wallet? Well, April's Auto has got a few vehicles that have been crunched themselves, just for you. If you are looking for the best bang for your buck, then come on down to April's Automotive. Big deals, bigger rigs. I have it all here at April's Automotive. Who wants a brand new car when you can have one at half the cost and half the quality? 
You'll walk off my lot with no more than 300,000 kilometers. Guaranteed. Guaranteed! Here at April's Automotive, we believe Buicks never die. Here's a testimony from one of my former customers. So I bought my Buick from April about two weeks ago, and she was nice enough to give me a deal. She told me that um, the mileage was one of her best that she had, so I, I didn't really have any other options. If you call 1-800-55-APRIL, you'll be eligible for 0% financing for one month. That's right, one month. And half off a car. That's right, one and a half cars for the price of one. Half off. Half off. Here at April's Automotive, you write the check and we won't write it off. Guaranteed. At April's Automotive, we have the biggest rigs on this side of Highway 3. We have it all. So buy today, and you'll never need another car for at least two weeks. That's right. Guaranteed. Please consult a doctor before buying from April's Automotive. You can find April's Automotive in Walgreens, Shoppers, and your local Walmart. So don't hesitate. Call April's Automotive today. I've never seen more Buicks in one lineup. What? That one wasn't a Buick though. The one with those were top. Were they top flights or Titleists? The one with the dimples. Because man, that's uh, that's Manitou hail there for you, my friend. She definitely did make a hole in one with that. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Richard went through the archives and found. It's got to be 10. I'm thinking it's probably 12 years old. Um, just for you that maybe have a tough time with the timeline, about 40 and 45 pounds ago. This <laughs> is from the very first uh, Candlewick Dinner Theater Valentine's Edition. Uh, just give you a quick sum up. It's a Wayne and Schuster show. Uh, I'm certain that some people out there must remember black and white television and Wayne and Schuster. Please enjoy Rinse the Blood Off My Toga. Rinse the Blood Off My Toga. This play is presented with apologies to William Shakespeare and Sir Francis Bacon, just in case. You're sure we're alone? Yeah, I'm sure. We're alone. <laughs> You're positive we're alone. Oh, I'm positive we're alone. Then who's that standing next to you? <laughs> you! I know. But can I be trusted? <laughs> I could tell I wasn't dealing with an ordinary man.
Gladius takes the case, and accompanied by Brutus, they head toward the scene of the crime.
tries to escape, but Flavius corners him at the scene of the crime, the Senate. up with the Candlewick Variety Show. But to end off the Amazing. show with the way that we've started it, we've got more music from John Weeb and his original sound.
he's trying, he says, he's really trying. He's always found it hard when it's time to come in. Thanks, John. Again, wonderful job. Great, great job. Uh, that's it for our variety show this evening, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Before we go, um, just an opportunity to thank a couple of sponsors that have made this possible. Uh, first and foremost, Winker Co-op and GTP, Gislason, Tarwanak and Peters. These two entities have been longtime sponsors of Cantwick, so thanks very much. Thank you, Robin. Uh, another great job and a wonderful evening, and maybe when we do the third show in February, I can actually sit in front of you. That would be very nice, Chuck. As much as I don't mind social distancing from you, um, I've got to say, <laughs> I've got to say, I do sort of miss that in-person experience, as many of us do. But I do expect, if that is the case, that you will also do something with that mop. Oh, yes! <laughs> Aaron, get the thinning shears out! <laughs> <laughs> because if by Valentine's Day you haven't had a haircut yet, or found somebody, I am going to take the snowblower <laughs> and get rid of it. <laughs> if, if we're still in lockdown and I don't get a proper haircut, I'll have something for you next month, so oh, yeah. you can wish that we do or wish that we don't, but... <laughs> I'll be sending you headbands for Valentine's Day for sure. <laughs> and I'll wear them. <laughs> oh, Chuck, did you have long hair for the 70s? Uh, no. I had thick hair for the 70s. This thick. I could walk down the halls of Virgin Collegiate looking... All I'd have to do is put on my brown cougars. Remember cougars? Brown cougar boots and yes, just walk through the hallways with a blue jean jacket on. It's back in the day when cougars were more than just were were just boots. <laughs> they were just boots back then. <laughs> <laughs> and animals in the forest. <laughs> please, please, please let the knock down end. <laughs> uh, well, strap on your Levi jeans. It's time to say good night. <laughs> Good night, good night, Robin. And good night, everyone. For, thanks for joining us. Good night, Chuck. Good night, everyone.